Trauma occurs in many forms, ranging from verbal to physical and or sexual. Whether you've personally experienced abuse or have witnessed it, we want you to know that it's not your fault, nor are you alone. Not only is it hard to talk about, but it follows you even after it's over. We hope wherever you are today that you're in a safer place. Our hearts go out to anyone who's been a victim of childhood abuse. In our description box below, we've included a few hotlines in case you need to contact someone for help. As always, you can also reach out in the comment box. Here are seven ways childhood trauma follows you into adulthood. One, you can't seem to remember much of your younger years at all. Do your high school years feel like a blur? You might find yourself drawing a blank when someone brings up a childhood memory and you can't recall the same one. People with childhood trauma may experience flashbulb memories in which they remember vivid moments, but not the full event. When you look back on the past, it's made up of more black holes than fully written chapters. You might even feel like someone or something has stolen your childhood, depending on the severity of the events. Two, you find yourself in toxic relationships. If you've ever watched or read The Perks of Being a Wallflower, you'd be familiar with the quote, we accept the love we think we deserve. When you grow up in a household devoid of love and emotional support, healthy relationships are a foreign concept to you. In fact, many people who face childhood trauma often adapt the fearful avoidant attachment style, where they want emotionally close relationships, but find it hard to trust or depend on others completely. Consequently, without knowing it, you might seek destructive relationships, mistaking the mistreatment and uncertainty for excitement. 3. Or you feel like you don't deserve love at all. People who experienced abuse in their childhoods might avoid romantic relationships altogether, believing they can't be loved by others. This is known as the anxious preoccupied attachment, where the individual wants to establish emotional intimacy with others, but often fears rejection. As a result, vulnerability is usually avoided when they've only been hurt by people they once trusted. This kind of trauma doesn't just ache, it ruins you. 4. You develop passive aggressiveness. Did you grow up in a household with anger all the time? It can be so scarring that you might even grow fearful of this emotion. You learned at a young age that none of your emotional needs were important, so you've only resorted to burying or suppressing them. As you reach adulthood, you'll continue to exercise passive-aggressive behavior because straightforward communication was avoided when you were a child. 5. Negative self-talk is amplified. Childhood trauma gets into victims' heads and makes them believe they won't ever be good enough. It's not something they can just snap out of or fix with positivity. It's scary and real how convincing their parents might have been when their words and actions cut them deep. 6. You ride an emotional roller coaster. You might either feel too much or not enough at all. Trauma can cause a disruption in your emotional well being. Signs include trouble making decisions, impulsive behavior, and random outbursts of anger or frustration. 7. You don't know who you are. Identity is difficult, but it seems more impossible to grasp or pin down when you face childhood trauma. It's slippery like a fish, and the more you try to see yourself, the less you begin to recognize who you thought you were. Have you or anyone you know experienced any of these symptoms? Please share your thoughts with us below. We're an open-minded team and we will never judge you for your stories. In fact, we often find them inspiring. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. Thanks so much for watching!